It's weird. It's wild. It's wacky. It's Wednesday. It's weekly. It's worldly. It's Emma's Weird, Wild, Wacky Wednesday Weekly World News. <laughs> oh, oh what a lead in. So, yeah, the one I mentioned, uh, I a, say, a romantic relationship with an airplane. Okay, I'm not queued up for that one. I'll switch over. Yep. Okay. All right. So, this is a woman from Hungary. From Hungary. Okay. Yep. Um, and she's found love for the first time. She's found a woman from Hungary has found love for the first time. For the first time ever with a toy plane. With a. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for the first time ever with a toy plane or for the first time ever with a toy plane? Um, like, was she in love with a dude at one point, but this is her first time being in love with a toy airplane? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, She's in love she with was, it. She was in a relationship. It ended. Right. Um, and then uh, she bought herself um, a big... Model airplane <laughs> online. Okay. Here, uh, let's bring up a picture. We got a picture here. For $1,010 in a January. $1,000? Yeah. Well, no wonder she's in love with it. She spent a family <laughs> fortune on the damn thing. <laughs> she calls him. Lufty? Oh, not far off. No. L- Luffranks. Luffranks. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, oh my God, this is freaking me out just looking at this picture. How she's. Staring lovingly at Lou Franks. <laughs> it has a name. And that thing costs a thousand bucks? Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. What country is she's in Hungary? A thousand uh She's from Buda Budapest. I think it's Budapest. What a dick. I'm such an asshole. Don't you hate that? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Budapest. <laughs> I think oh really? Know it all douche face. Alright, so she's in Hungary. I'm just wondering if there's a, a currency differential here. A thousand dollars is a dollar American this dollars. Is, this is translated into into American dollars. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's a thousand like, one thousand yeah. and ten uh, dollars US. Yes. Um Okay. Sorry, I'll let you tell the story. Just, I always have <laughs> just have so many questions. You cannot hold you questions. I can't you never can. We talk about it between shows. <laughs> I'm like, like, I'll let you finish, and then I'll ask, <laughs> and then you start. And I'm like, wait. It's hard to f- keep my train of thought <laughs> going. I keep umming and eyeing, sounding like an idiot. Just, and then you're no, like, you don't. No, you don't. No, I can't. Okay. They know you have to put up with me. <laughs> they put up with you too, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. They even, they even seem to enjoy it. All right. So it's not, um, yeah, it's not that she loves flying a toy plane or loves a toy plane. She's in love with this plane um she's called him luftfranks luftfranks and she says i don't know why i love him i just love him um okay that's not a him no it's a what's it made of do you have information about that uh there's another one that looks similar that was that was said it was made of fiberglass this one oh there's uh, uh, more pictures. She's like l- really snuggling up with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, she looks so happy. She's and then the other one, she, it's like she really thinks that she and some attractive man are posing for a photo. <laughs> well, like, here we are. Aren't we a hot couple? Yeah. Me and Franks. Yeah. Holy cowza. And it's a, f- what, how? it's a full-on romantic relationship. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, they share a bed. Okay. Um... She starts and ends every day uh, by giving him a kiss. She says he's beautiful and her soulmate. He's the first thing she sees in the morning and, and the, the last, last thing, thing before she goes to bed, and she wouldn't want to have it any other way. Oh, yes, he would. Here's my question. Mm. First of all, uh, before the question, holy shit. <laughs> 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 she, there's a woman who has a relationship with a toy airplane mm-hmm. and she sleeps with it she kisses yeah, toy, it in the morning toy is to imply like to, to well, me that it's small i mean it is a toy it's not a yeah no no, no. but yeah a, for people who are only only have audio this is a this is not a tiny plane no it looks like it might be almost as long as she is like in the pictures we're looking at 
you can only see part of the plane, but it's like, you know. Yeah. It seems like she and the plane might be about the same size. I think she can. She and the plane can spoon. It's big. Um, it's a big plane. Does now can it fold? I have a hard enough time getting comfortable with arms, wings. <laughs> Hey, Luftfrank, how the hell do you you fold one under a pillow? <laughs> um, we, we don't see wings in any of these. Yeah. No, it's... I uh, do have to point out that the plane does have a slightly phallic shape to it. Is that a coincidence? I, or uh, I don't know. She she became obsessed with planes when she was three years old. Oh, so she's had a thing with planes. Because um, uh, here's where I was headed before. This is the question okay. I was going to ask before. How... Horrible a boyfriend <laughs> was was whoever came before Luftfranks. I know. I I don't know that she then started dating toy airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a traumatic relationship. Right, but and now break up. Now I'm thinking maybe she had a weird thing for planes, and that's why it didn't like work. The problem came before the other guy. With the other guy, yeah. yeah. The last guy was a, uh, a train caboose, by the way. <laughs> His I can't. Choo choo Charlie. I and they just didn't mix. Yeah, I can't answer any of that. Okay. I know that she um she knew she wanted to work with planes. She just got a job <laughs> in the aviation. You're not working with them, honey, you're sleeping with them. <laughs> but she does as well for her day job. Oh, okay. Um in twenty twenty one she landed a an aviation industry job, doesn't say what, but she's around planes. She all couldn't the get time a discount on that thing? In the day. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the biz. Um, but um, she she says she doesn't um, she, she doesn't cheat on Luftfranks, um when she's at work around these other planes. Um, Fair enough. Because uh, you know he'd be worried about it. Well, if yeah. he wasn't a piece of metal <laughs> <laughs> or fiberglass. I'm sorry. What's her she, name? She has Do we ad- have her name? She has admitted to uh, touching and blowing kisses to the other planes. Um, but she knows really? she, they ha- they have something special, and she doesn't want to ruin it. Um, she blows kisses to the other planes. I feel like maybe this whole thing was all said in jest, and then they just made it. It's, no, Those pictures don't look a, like it, though. No, there's a... Um, I, uh, I don't know if... It, it, Object philia or object sexuality is a a form of sexual or romantic attraction focused on particular on particular inanimate objects. I hope you guys wrote that down. There's going to be a quiz. Um, What's it called again? Object philia. Object philia, or object. Sounds like sexuality. a badly named Shakespeare character. I had to look into it a little because this was. You know, Absolutely, but so people can fall in love with inanimate objects. People fall in love with buildings, and and a lot of people around the world like have like. Uh, either tried to or have married in quotation marks these objects and things. Oh my goodness! Um, but yeah, she says she's never felt like this before with her partner. Uh, it's the first time in her life she's felt this way. She's in love. She, if I go away for the weekend, I make sure I take him with me. He's always there for me. Um, I don't. I don't know about taking him out to dinner and things like. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite the same. She thinks he's much more reliable than a person. Yeah, he he doesn't have free will. He's a <laughs> he's a thing. He's an item. Yeah. An yeah. object. What but do we know what her name is? Sandra. Sandra. Yeah. Oh Sandra. Um, Sandy. <laughs> but it is Oh Sandy. <laughs> it is a sexual relationship too. Right. Like, okay. I was most. wondering if we were okay, gonna I was get wondering there. if you were gonna ask. Yeah, they Folks, we made it. We did it. The quote is... It is a sexual relationship. We cut... (laughs) (laughs) You might have wanted to wait for this. We cuddle and kiss throughout the night and have sex. Um, I get to... We cuddle and kiss throughout the night... And have sex. And have sex. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) I get to do everything with him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so... No, you don't. (laughs) (laughs) Sandra, there's more. There is more that you're missing out on. Yeah, so I was looking for... I was like, okay, I need to find the best (laughs) photos for this. Lower landing gear. (laughs) (laughs) To send to you. (laughs) Wait, you have more? And, no, I came across another woman who's had a five-year relationship. This one's harder to understand with a Boeing 737-800. 
Oh, yeah, that's much harder to understand. <laughs> Who could fall in love with one of those model planes? Because, well, at least this woman, she had... No, no, no. This is a plane. A Like a real... Giant... A real actual Boeing plane. Set. Yeah, not a model. Not a model of a Lufthansa plane. Yeah, I... Um, Luftfunks, I love you. So... Um, oh, my God. Yes. This, this woman's had a relationship with the plane. Um, how so? What's... Um, She says she's been in a relationship for five years with the love of her life. That's a passenger de- jet that she calls darling um yeah and she's what what does she go into detail of like what the uh what's involved in the relationship she's been um <laughs> she's flown in him um, one time or oh, sometimes and she's gotten they've let her in the hangar once and she has posed for i don't know it might have been for this article or something and she's posed for all these photos with the plane with the plane you know touching it caressing it very and do she, we have photos of her i do okay we can put those up on the show okay. you can right. show me now real okay. quick i will show you and then we can i'll put them in oh yeah that looks that's, like love and that that's her wait a minute is that the same girl no, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> different haircut but um Wow, she's in love. Now, does she work in the industry as well? This is similar. She got herself. She built herself a model of him. Wait, this is not. This is the other girl. This is the. This is a a, a woman from Germany. These planes look like penises, babe. <laughs> <laughs> these w- <laughs> these women. Oh, I mean, they need. Maybe they haven't heard of shot. <laughs> That there's shops that you can go to and <laughs> <laughs> wait, what what shops? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll send them an email. Oh, I don't know what you're speaking um, of, baby. Wow, that's um, crazy. I feel badly. I don't want to just make fun of these women, but I also no, feel like they are missing out on some real stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to call it a condition. This woman who has researched this has like said that um, she thinks that it might be um, a a sexual orientation. Um, she's interviewed people. She's a clinical sexologist. Um, and Does that um, mean we're going to need another pronoun? I, I, <laughs> Probably not. No, I don't, I don't think it would be necessary. Um, so it's a, it's just a thing that people like. It te- and apparently half of the people that um, identified themselves um, from this group of, as having this... Um, OS, object sexuality, or whatever that they call it. Um, I think we should call it abject object sexuality, just because it sounds better. Mm. <laughs> Half of them are on the autism spectrum, and then she said um, some of them were not diagnosed, but, you know. Okay, I was actually going to say, are the, but had do that any of these people have other uh, conditions or, or yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, so... Not I, that you're an expert on this stuff, but that is helpful to know. Yeah, so and maybe as I said before, I don't want to make fun of these people. No. And, hey, whatever gives you comfort, as I said before. Right. You know, we, you're, an, you're an animal that lives on a rock. Yeah. I mean... How do you get through the day and the night? If it's uh, <laughs> cuddling up to, or even a little more than cuddling up to a toy airplane... Yeah. ...that makes it okay for you yeah. to exist... Yeah. Go for it. I mean... It's I, not hurting anybody. Exactly. And that's what a lot of them say. Um, I'm not hurting anyone. This makes me feel happy. Yeah. Um, Maybe they too, they could do like a double date. The uh, Where's the other woman? They both have, to, you know, toy plane boyfriends. Yeah, Germany and Turkey. Ger- they're not that far away. No, I know. It's not the time they to really to be up. moving around over there, though. But but they could meet up and yeah. bring their planes. Yep. Um... <laughs> They maybe um maybe the, I, there's a woman who, wouldn't who it be interesting, married the Eiffel Tower. They could meet up with her. Would it be interesting if one of them or if they were like, you know what, I don't I she seems weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I want to meet up with her. But it's it's fu- it's funny. It's like at first you're like, Oh my god, this is crazy, like I can't relate at all. But then I remembered like I watched uh when you watched um Castaway. Right. And Wilson Oh my god, like well done. I would never think that I could be emotional over. Oh right, yeah. When Wilson he loses Wilson. Lo- Spoiler alert! A little bit late. <laughs> someone losing a volleyball, but like, oh my god, it made me so emotional. I was like, it's a fucking volleyball. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, he at least he had a 
face. <laughs> he had a little face and like some kind of hair, yeah, sort of looking stuff. Yeah, and, and most people. And he was a companion. He needed a companion. Yes. People need companions. Yes, and people often can, you know, as children, you know, have s- stuffed animal companions and stuff. So totally, yeah. 